Okay guys, so here is your next step in your contagion programming. The next step is that you need to open up your game from before. So you should find your folder somewhere on the desktop. Remember, remember you need to be logged in under projects. I'm going to double click on that and you're looking for the .apj and if you click on that you'll notice that it has the little icon with the guy's face. You do not want this one, you want the one with his face. And when you open that it will bring open your gallery. So here I have my two people. Um, if you hadn't already done that make sure you make a background too. You need to have a background uh, agent and all I'm going to do is just paint bucket that one solid color. Now I have my people and I have my background. My next step is to create a worksheet for it. So I want to go to File, New Worksheet. I want to save it right away. So I'm going to just save this as my Contagion worksheet. And then I want to make it bigger. Now again, remember you have your tools over here. Pencil will place one thing at a time. Eraser will erase one thing at a time. These tools we'll use later. They don't apply for this one. This tool does a whole section filled in. And then this tool erases whatever you highlight. Okay? I'm going to highlight everything. So what I want to do is I want to start building my school. Okay? So I'm going to say, okay, I have a classroom here. Maybe I have a classroom over here. And maybe I have... Um, something in the middle like an office maybe and then I have another classroom here and I have another classroom here and I need to build hallways between them. Now the one thing that is important is as you start building hallways make sure that they are at least two um, wide, at least two of your agents wide because if you only put one like this you'll have a hard time with people being able to get in and out because your people will get stuck here. So just make sure that it is wide enough. So maybe here I would put more there. Here I'm going to add some hallways so that it is wider. Here I'm going to just go straight across. So now I have my school. Anytime you make changes to your worksheet, you want to save it right away. Now what you need to do is put a whole bunch of healthy people. So I might place uh, two boys here, a boy and a boy. Think about like tables that you might have set up. I might do two boys here, and I might do two boys here, and then maybe over here I have two boys. I've got a boy and a boy, boy and a boy, and then two boys here. Maybe I might do three boys on this table, and then maybe I have two boys this way. Okay, and so I'm just kind of coming up with a pattern where I can then put uh, girls in too. So now I'm going to go put my healthy girls in. Maybe I'm going to do them opposite. Here I've got a couple there. Maybe I've got girls sitting there. Okay, so you can kind of get the idea. I want to move this one up, so I'm going to use my pointer to move them up. I'm going to go back and make sure I'm on my people. And I'm going to get my girls put in there. I'm going to have three girls across. I'm going to have one there. Oops, don't need that one on top, so I'm going to move it over. And I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to do a couple more girls here. And again, I need to move it over. Okay, that pointer allows you to move it over. And then I'm going to do a girl in each spot. Girl here, girl here. Okay, maybe I've got four girls here. Now I do need one sick person. So I'm going to take just one sick person, whether it be a boy or a girl, and I'm going to place them somewhere in this room. Now I want to save my worksheet. Okay, so I'm going to stop this one and I'll come back. I'm going to show you the programming. Right now I want you to go and build your worksheet. I'm going to give you 15 minutes to go ahead and build your worksheet.